guys and welcome to an overnighter. Um, beautiful clear blue skies today and we're on the shores of Loch Tay and I'll show you the view just shortly. Um, I'm going to tent it tonight and um, this is something we're going to do a bit of a review on as well. It's a, a diamond brand United States Marine Corps tent. Um, it's something I picked up just recently at a car boot sale um, for a, a huge total of five pounds. Um, so we're going to try that tonight, see what it is. Um, I'm just going to pitch that in the area here and once we've got it pitched I'll talk you through the tent and I'll show you around the campsite and the views we have as well. So back to you shortly guys. Right guys, so we've got the, the inner tent pitched up here and um, can you see that view behind me? That's what we're going to be waking up to tomorrow morning. Um, so, as I said, it's a diamond brand United States Marine Corps tent and we've pitched the, the inner up. It's alloy poles and um, peg-wise it's alloy, alloy pegs as well. Um, so I'll let you have a look at the, the inner tent and inside it and then once we've got the, the fly sheet onto it We'll let you see that as well and give you a tour around that as well. So this is the inner tent. It's a geodesic design. That just means the poles cross one another and support one another and makes it quite a strong design for only having three poles. Um, peg wise, it's a quite an unusual type of peg. I haven't actually seen pegs like these before. Really lightweight but super strong. Um, a nice alloy. So these are pegs you don't want to lose and leave behind because they are quite good pegs. So two doors, you got one here. You can see there's the USMC branding on that on the inside. That's the make there, diamond brand. So you got one door here, and then you've got your other door here as well. And obviously you've still got the fly sheet over the top to go onto that as well. Um, just a quick look at the, the view again while we're here. So again, what you're seeing is, is Loch Tay. So let's have a look at this. There is fly nets on both the doors and they are quite fine. So they should keep most, if not all, insects out. So quite a lot of room, very, very spacious here. Um, more than enough room for two and their kit. Uh, pocket down here, pocket up there, and then up here, I don't know if you can see that, but you've actually got a gear loft up there as well. And a reasonable amount of height, more than enough to sit up on. So that's the inner tent. What we'll do now is I'll get the outer fly sheet put up and we'll come back to you soon guys and let you see the whole tent up. Hey guys, welcome back. That's the tent now pitched. You can't see it, that's it there. Um, so it does come with a camouflage pattern on it. Quite a few features of this tent that I really quite like. Um, as I said, it's a United States Marine Corps tent, so it is designed for use out in the field. So. Um, the actual camouflage fly sheet, you can pitch that on its own. So without using the inner, you can just attach the peg, the pole, sorry, to, to these. And the reason that's on the outside rather than the inside is it's reversible. So on the other side, it's a plain sand color, so it can be used in desert climates as well. So you've got quite a porch area here. Let me just open this up. So that's your sort of porch storage area you have. Again, with the space that's inside the tent plus what's out here, you've got a reasonable amount of storage space that's going to keep your kit dry. Uh, Material-wise as well, I'm not quite sure what this material is, but it's certainly quite a robust feeling, water repellent, if not waterproof material. As to how it'll hold up with condensation, well, tonight I'll tell. So that's the main porch door there, and again around the other side, you've got an entrance down here. So this is a straightforward zip entrance in here. Again, some of the features are like you've got Velcro on this just to protect it on the actual storm flap, 
as do a lot of tents but what you do sometimes find is if the wind does pick up it gets under here it can open the zip a bit and if these aren't very strong it can cause the flap to open and let the water in what this tent has is a little strap here just move so I can get you now that, if you're not using this door, clips onto there and that just gives you a bit of extra protection there as well. So not so much storage space at this side, that's more just your entrance in and out there. Um, I have put a tarp underneath it, just it's good to give you that bit of extra protection underneath and keep the bottom of your tent clean as well. The one concern I have got, is this is the first time I've used this tent, is as you can see the bottom of the tent is exposed and the fly sheet will not stretch any further to actually cover that all in all though I'm pretty impressed with this especially the fact I picked this up for five pounds um, that has to be one of my bargains of the year so I'm gonna go I'm gonna get my feet up and get a brew on and um, come back to you shortly guys Okay guys, so for the evening meal we've boiled some water in the ghillie kettle and we're just using the Coleman dual fuel stove at the moment boiling up some pasta and with that we're going to have some tomato and pepper sauce some pork sausage and some chorizo ring So, once that's cooked up I'll bring you back and let you have a look at that. So there we go, a nice simple meal, pasta, chorizo sausage and some smoked sausage mixed in with a tomato and pepper sauce. Right, I'm off to eat it now guys, see you soon. Well guys, that's us fed and watered, well, maybe not so much watered and more cidered. Um, it's been a really good day, really hot today, so we are just got the fire going going to sit around have a few more beers and then we'll try out the tent later on so in the meantime we're just going to watch the sunset so you can come along and watch it with us morning guys as you can see a bit of a change of the weather from yesterday um, still mild though uh, there was a light bit of rain last night but nothing much to speak about to be honest the tent itself was fantastic um, did really well very very comfortable uh, bags of room in there there was two of us plus the dog and still a lot of space more than enough space to sit up in as well so really really pleased with that tent i think we'll be using it again so plans for this morning um just getting the campsite just ready um grab a bit of breakfast get a brew on and then start packing up and then heading off so um once we've got breakfast on i'll bring you back and show you what we're having for breakfast see you soon guys so breakfast, we've just had the ghillie kettle boil there, so that's our coffee. And as always, bacon in the field. Can't beat the taste. 